Hello, ducks! <laughs> Good morning, everybody, and whoa, hang on here. <laughs> Welcome to the duck adventure for what's the date? Oh, September 10th. Um, I'm a little bit asleep here. Had a, uh, a late night. Cleaned peas last night. What a waste of time. Total waste of time. I'm not even going to go into it how much of a waste of time it was. Anyways, uh, the reason I'm starting off today's uh, episode here at the uh, the desk of information, I've uh, been getting some messages, and I've seen in the comments also people uh, talking about me uh, killing things that are killing the ducks. Um, everything I do here, absolutely everything, I have verified with the Ministry of Natural Resources here in Ontario, Canada, I'm legally allowed to do, guys. Um, I'm, I, I would have to be an absolute brain-dead idiot to videotape something illegal, put it up on YouTube so that I could be charged. You know, when I had problems years ago with animals, I, you know, I contacted the Ministry of Natural Resources in Pembroke, which is about 60 kilometers from me where their office is, talked to conservation officers, you know, read, read it on the internet, on their, the e-laws for Ontario, what we're allowed to do here, what I'm allowed to do here. The otters. Um, otters normally eat fish. That's, you know, frogs, uh, crayfish, you know, they're, but they're also predators of opportunity. And like all predators are, you know, just because that isn't their main staple, but if the opportunity is there, they will take it. And the opportunity right here on this property is a thousand domestic ducks. And when I talked to the Ministry uh, of Natural Resources, a conservation officer, actually two years ago about this, they had heard about otters doing this. Uh, normally otters will go like to, to a trout farm and they'll get into, uh, you know, into uh, the trout farms and they will just clean out the trout farm. Um, but they have heard about ducks, domestic ducks specifically, not wild ducks, but domestic ducks. And, you know, last year we got footage. Actually, I got footage down to the creek, you know. There's that footage of the three otters that came out of the water that were chasing the ducks out of the water. Like, I, I, I have footage of that on YouTube. I don't know which video it is from last year, but it's there. I know I shot it. I know I posted it on YouTube of the otters coming out of the creek chasing the ducks. You know, the ducks uh, are getting hunted by the otters because they're an opportunity, an easy one for the otter. You know, like, think about it. It's a, you know, a five and a half pound chunk of meat that uh, you know the otter one one duck will feed three otters for probably two days you know maybe three days so that is you know the, the, the normally otters don't bother you know uh, they're very curious animals I, I really honestly guys I hate shooting otters I do I really do I hate it I'm uh, I like them I think otters are very cute but the problem is, is that they're killing ducks, you know, and, and, and the thing is with predators is that no matter what it is, you know, be it that big, big giant hawk, you know, like he came back the other day and if it wasn't for Doug, you know, running down and running all over the swamp, you know, uh, you know, interfering with the hawks, <clears throat> you know, attack, that hawk would have taken a duck out. You know, once they, a predator starts killing and they discover a food source, they come back non-stop they will not stop coming back until you stop them and that is the way it is you know i had the same problem with the owls you know once the owls discovered you know the ducks in the winter time they just kept coming back you know like it was uh they and and multiple owls you know kept coming back it's like once they discover you know where the grocery store is that's their favorite place to go and that's just the way mother nature is you know uh, i don't enjoy shooting pretty I, I, I don't, I'm not a Rambo crazy gun killing kind of guy, guys. I'm not that per, kind of person. I, I don't hunt, okay? I'm not a hunter. I, I don't hunt. Uh, I raise my own food. That's what I do. Uh, but I have no problem killing something if it's killing my animals. But I have a line you know, that bothers me, you know, with my head that sometimes, you know, I don't want to do it, but I got to do it. And and it, it's hard. Like, trust me, I'm, I'm not that kind of guy. Uh, but I got to protect the ducks. That's the bottom line, you know, and, and I'm getting messages, you know, they think I'm enjoying this, uh, but I'm just doing it to save the ducks, man. Like, you know, and if I didn't stop them, think about it, you know, if I didn't stop the coyotes, you know, those two coyotes this year, if I didn't, you know, uh, do everything I can to deter the, the otters, if I, you know, the, the hawk, you know, think about the, the seagulls, you know, 
the, the, think about how many ducks I would lose here. I, I, you know, I could lose 20, 30% of the flock to Mother Nature. Snapping turtles, you know, the same thing. You know, like when I talked to the conservation officer about the snapping turtle problem, his first answer was shoot it, get the rifle and shoot it. You know, and I didn't want to shoot it. You know, like I tried my best to catch the guy because I wanted to relocate him, you know. The ministry's answer, when you call the Ministry of Natural Resources to talk to a conservation officer and you say that wildlife is, is, is killing your animals, the first answer that comes out of the, the first words that come out of it, shoot it. That's what they say, shoot it. That's what, you know, we're, we're living in the bush here, guys. This is true wilderness up here. You know, uh, this is not, you know, uh, um, you know, city area there, you know, this is the bush, man. I got bears, I got coyotes, I got otters, I got hawks, owls, you name it. Every predator in the book, we got them here. And the odd sighting of cougars, you know, uh, have been in this area. like. This is the wilderness, you know, not the kind of place you want to be lost in the bush at night. Trust me, crap can happen here. And another thing too is about protected species. It, that's another thing about the law in Ontario, guys. No matter what it is, if it's destroying your property, it could be the last one in the world. If it's destroying your property, legally I'm allowed to get my shotgun out and smoke it. That's the law. Uh, you are allowed to protect your property no matter what it is. I, I don't do things, guys, that is illegal. And, and I, especially if I'm gonna videotape it and put it on YouTube for you to watch and, and for all you crazy people out there that, you know, there's some crazy ones, I'm telling you, um, that are, you know, sending me these crazy messages that they're gonna, you know, they're gonna get a hold of the authorities and blah, 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 and, you know, and all this kind of stuff. I can't get my head around how someone could think I would post something illegal that would put me in 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 a, a jeopardy with the law. I, I don't understand if you think I'm that stupid. You know, I don't know. Believe me, I'm not that stupid. Uh, I won't do anything that's illegal. Uh, I know the law. I know what I'm allowed to do, and I share that with you. I share what I can do here to with you know to protect the ducks and uh, you know to do the show. Plus, I see people asking questions in the comments. And I hope everybody sees this that has these questions all the time, so you know uh, what you know. What if you see me doing it on this channel? I have thoroughly researched the legalities of it. Okay, like don't even think in your head, oh that that might be illegal. It ain't. Trust me, guys. I I won't post. What I won't do anything illegal, but I won't post anything illegal. Okay, trust me on this one. Like it's like this is uh, you know. Um, I'm very serious about what I'm doing here on YouTube, and the last thing I need is you know the uh, you know the police or the conservation officers showing up here. To, I, I know the law. I, I, have, I have thoroughly researched this, guys. What I can and can't do here. You know, don't worry about it, guys. If you think that there's something illegal going on, and if you see comments, uh, you know, from other people, you know, that are worried about it, you know, that haven't haven't seen this this in, this intro into this video, um, you know, let them know. Like, uh, it's like, if you're watching it on my channel, I am legally allowed to do it. That is the bottom line, guys. Uh, believe me. And I know for a fact that I have a couple conservation officers in the province of Ontario, guys, that are watching my show. They have subscribed. They follow me on G+, on Google+. Uh, they've been in contact with me. I you know, like <laughs> I would be an idiot. I got two two conservation officers I know about know about my show, know about my channel, and know what I do here. So uh, I would have to be an absolute moron to uh, to do anything illegal and post it. But anyways, that's it. That's enough of my rambling, um, and let's get on with the day here. Well, the cooler weather has started. I'm wearing a jacket. It's supposed to warm up sort of today. I'm gonna go down to the dock. We'll do a little bit of a recon first. Make sure everything's clear. I'll be right back, ducks. <laughs> Doug's upstairs in the window watching. He, uh, I'm looking around here too. Um, I, I was thinking Doug was upstairs being lazy sleeping. He's, uh, he just lays there and stares out the window. I guess it's the perfect vantage point for him. One, to see things and to smell. Because his nose is like, it's almost pressed against the screen. 
that's how uh, close it is. Like I went up there and I was like, Doug, you're pushing against the screen with your nose. But his, you can see the nostrils flaring up, eh? And he's just constantly smelling. The dog's a working fool. So I thought he was being upstairs lazy while I was downstairs working, doing my morning edit. And it turns out, you know, Doug's working. So I'm gonna, uh, I'll give him a star for that one. Because I was starting to think he was just a real lazy dog. All right, let's do uh, a quick look at the swamp. And uh, then we'll come back with the ducks out. I gotta get my edit done. I gotta get back to my garden. Oh man, I got lots to do. Oh, almost too much for one man. You know, I'm thinking uh, since I cut all the hiding spots for the otters that they've left. One, because Doug uh, is running like everywhere now. And two, they just have no place to hide. And I haven't seen or heard an otter since I cut that area down. <laughs> the ducks are just losing it because they can see me walking down the ramp. Not a sign of anything. Like the water is like a mirror. No ripples. I'm really upset at my boat situation though. All that work and then the motor uh, is screwed again. There is nothing down here. Let's go let the ducks out. Let's get an epic rush happening. Just listen to them in the pen man. They're upset. They want out. Well, let's go let them out. <laughs> Dougie, he's watching me. Oh, he's getting up. He's gonna watch it. What a dog. When I was walking across the lawn, oh, he's yawning. He's all excited. Are you coming down, Doug? Come on. Come on. Are you gonna come to work? Come on, dog, downstairs. What a dog, oh, he's so awesome. Doug! Oh, I hear him walking now, brain dead dog. <laughs> come on, dog, time to go to work. Oh, you got a bit of a limp today. Actually, you got a bad limp today. Come here, come here, let's get your collar on. Even though you're really don't need it. You're sore today, Doug. Oh, a little bit of wiggle on the bum there. Okay. Oh, Doug. I don't know why he's sore because he didn't run a lot yesterday. You know, uh, he did a lot of watching. So that's all he does now. Well, not all. Right? That's a majority of what he does. I give him his anti-inflammatory at night. Pretty soon, you know, he'll be on R&R. &R. It's, you know, October 28th, guys, it's coming up, you know. And then uh, the ducks will be gone and Doug will be on R&R &R for the whole winter to get his shoulder better. Excited. All right, I'm gonna walk around the thing, guys, instead of walking through. And we'll let the ducks out. Oh, they're all rushing to the other end. They're gonna beat me there. Oh, the sun's coming up. Oh, and Dougie's getting excited. Go run recon there, Doug. Shotgun Doug. Something here? Give us a wolf. Give us another wolf. Look at that dog. Clear the swamp, dog. What an awesome dog. God would admit, guys, like that dog is freaking awesome. Oh man, that's the word of the day. Doug's awesome. All right, the ducks are uh, letting me know here they want out. 
let's get it happening. I, I had to think twice if I had turned the pin off or not. I'm not wearing glasses today, guys, because it was brutal walking through here with glasses on. It was really, really hard. Come on, ducks, the coast is clear. It's like a beehive. Finally, make uh, the shorter route. Ducks in a row. I wonder where eye infection duck is this morning. I'll have to look in the pen. Last night, I was walking around the yard with the rest of the flock. gone deep into the bulrushes. I don't know where he is. I saw him walk on the edge and then he disappeared. Oh, there's a cute duck. Can I get zoomed in before you disappear on me? Look at that. That's a pretty one. Oh, there's our little crossbreed. I think they look really cool, those ones. And the Scoby Cross. Totally useless duck, but it just looks good. Oh, there's a nice one. Look at the black head on this guy. He's got a really black head. Hey, who's behind us? Oh, we got some stragglers. Not many. They'll end up leaving. They always do. 
lately uh, there's been absolutely nobody in the yard. Actually, uh, because we haven't had an otter situation here since I cut that stuff, uh, I've noticed the ducks are not coming back to the yard during the day, except, oh, we got a seagull right above us. Yeah, it just freaked all the ducks out. Look at that. Doug's gonna start barking at it. Yeah, there's the dog. Sorry about the bad camera, guys. I'm uh, trying to catch it. It's left. No, it's back. It's no threat to the ducks. The ducks are uh, far too big for it. So we won't be shooting a seagull. Now, if these were ducklings, that seagull would be history right now. But it's uh, the only thing it's going to do right now is just freak the ducks out. Which is doing a pretty good job. Okay, the seagull, screw off! Yeah, I know, eh? The seagull is screwing us right up. Yep, Doug, you go bark at him. <laughs> oh, that dog. And the seagull here. The seagull just is going down the other end of the lake. Because now the sun's out, I'm hot in my jacket. It might take a couple more days before they get totally relaxed again and uh, start swimming all over the lake. As long as uh, the otters uh, haven't, uh, you know, reappeared, they'll forget in a couple days. Well, I shouldn't say they'll forget, they'll just get more comfortable. Because when the otters reappear, they remember really quick. Oh, here comes the remainder. The geese are leading them. Bringing them down. I think it's just Muscovies that are left in the yard right now. Strippers down here, guys. That's definitely stripper. I just watched it limp across. I can't believe the little duck came down. Are you going to go in the water, stripper? Okay, stripper, go in the water. The seagull's back, guys. Okay, she's uh, thinking about coming in, coming out. She doesn't know what she's going to do. It's getting harder to get out, eh, Doug? <laughs> now, don't shake right near me. Now he's just absolutely filthy. Okay, Doug, stop walking around me. Okay, when, you know, when you're standing on this really soft stuff, and then, you know, 136 pounds comes and stands right beside you, do you ever think, sink, think, sink? <laughs> More and more, I'm getting in the water. We're starting to head down the lake. Oh, 
they're going around to the back side. Yeah, they're starting to scatter. I think a couple more days, like I said, if the otters don't show up, they're going to be all over the lake again. Because I, I just noticed here this morning that they're not sticking close. They're starting to go out more and more. A bunch of them just went around the bend there and went to the backside. So they're being adventurous. Strippers in the water, guys. Uh, look at the way she swims with that gimp leg of hers. It just uh, it doesn't really paddle. It sort of like flops up at the backside. Look at her going. You know, for a gimp duck, it, I could just imagine how much work it was for her to walk down here. Okay, Doug, why do you got to brush against me when you're wet? Look at her, her little back foot. It's like, how much water does a duck need to drink, eh? They never stop. Clean yourself up, girl. I really like that little duck. I think it's because she's absolutely gimped right out. I think that's what it is. I think because she's just so handicapped. All right, guys, as much as I would like to just sit out here and enjoy the ducks, which I really, really, really would like to, I got to go do some work. Uh, unfortunately, this is the way it works here on the duck adventure. There's a, there's a whole bunch of behind, behind, besides, behind the scenes work that has to be done here. And I gotta go do it. So, I gotta get my uh, edit done, get some food into me, and uh, get out and do my garden. Finish the rest of the velour beans. Okay, I just lost Stripper. I don't know where she went in this mess of ducks here. I don't know where she is. I can't see her. Where'd you go, Stripper? right there. Now oh, she's somewhere in this mess. Just look at those ducks. Hey, they're having so much fun. This is a duck life. That's the area that I cut. And now they're uh, going all through it. That's exactly where the otters were hiding. And now it's impossible for anything to hide in there. Other than a turtle under the water. But they're uh, having fun. Alright guys, I gotta go and uh, do work. Oh, 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 almost turned around and blindly stepped into that. That was close. Okay, Doug, I got, let me through. Go on, go ahead of me. Considering how cool it was when I first came out, now it's warm. It's amazing. Hey, the sun comes out and everything heats up. All right, I'm gonna go and uh, do my work. And then we'll come back and check on the ducks later on. But I'm, uh, I'm thinking things are uh, gonna go good here since there's absolutely no place for anything to hide. Oh, my scobies, go to the lake. Landlocked ducks. I know, those Muscovies in the yard, eh, Doug? They should be at the lake. The pen is good. We haven't had any, any uh, you know, hurt ducks, sick ducks, dead ducks. 
Oh, I don't believe it. You know the, the duck that I let go yesterday that had that, that scar on its uh, chest, which originally wasn't even a, a hospital duck. I had found it, put it in the hospital. Look at this. It wants back into the barn. And this duck wasn't a hospital duck, I, like I found, or a barn duck. I had found it hurt and put it into the hospital. And now it's going through separation anxiety from its friends. But I don't see eye infection duck around, so eye infection duck must be embracing freedom. Because uh, I do not see it in the pen anywhere. I'm thinking taking it to the lake yesterday was the right thing to do. It's uh, having fun being a duck. Alright, yeah, the door, uh, the door, gates, I gotta open all the gates here. Oh, has it ever turned out nice? I gotta go get my edit done so I can get out here. Hey, duck, go to the lake. Let's look at this. Oh. Like, I don't get it. It's not even an original barn duck. It shouldn't be going through this wanting to go back into the barn. But look at this. The only duck that's out here is Magoo. The rest of them all went back into the barn because uh, I'm standing here. They're just super skittish ducks. Magoo, what's going on with you? see or not or your your vision is seriously impaired all the Muscovies are leaving guys they're going to the lake so I think the only thing left in the pen is uh, the one injured duck here that wants to go back into the barn and the males the three Muscovy males and uh, probably a goose yeah and the goose sitting on the eggs <laughs> man it's gonna be interesting if we hatch some goslings in September Oh, there are a couple of Muscovy females left. And the males. There's another male uh, down by the feeding station. Doug. He just laid down to watch the duck going back and forth trying to get into the barn. Oh, he's filthy, man. He gets outside and it doesn't take him long. All right, guys. I'm uh, going to go do some work. It's been about an hour, guys. I'm still out here. Uh, I decided to do a bunch of my duck chores now. And uh, the ducks got totally freaked out and got out of the water because some Canada geese landed and swam towards them. Unbelievable. I couldn't believe it. I looked down, I saw all the ducks getting out of the water. And I thought, okay, what's here? And I looked down and it was a couple Canada geese. They're so freaked out about everything. But they're really liking that area that I cut this week. There's been a whole bunch of them. I think they're hunting frogs. That's what it is. Fresh, fresh, fresh frog territory. Oh, that was a mouthful. But they're staying out of the water right now because there's a bunch of Canada geese on the lake. Like if you look, see, they're all sitting around the edge. They're just looking at the water. Now, I don't know where the Canada geese just went to because they were right at the mouth of the creek and then they disappeared. It was too funny. I, uh, I heard the ducks freaking out and, and I, I ran over thinking, you know, we've got a you know, otter here. And I look up and pff, Canada geese. Ducks freaked out. And that little duck, oh, it's still walking around the pen. Look at it. I'm thinking I gotta take it down to the water. I'm thinking it needs to be reintroduced to the flock. That's what my gut's telling me. Sometimes you just have to do that, eh? All right, I've done my uh, water chores. I can't believe it took this long. I've been out here screwing around, but it's done. If you do it right now, it's way easier because everything's soft. If you leave it to the end of the day and it all hardens up, it takes a lot more time and water to clean everything up to get ready for another night of <laughs> feces a thon. But, all right, I'm gonna go and do my edit, get it done so I can get out here and uh, get on my beans. Another thing too, I've been looking around 
Um, I'm thinking the reason the ducks are not a big fan of this corner is because of the perimeter lighting. Um, I've got the connectors coming this week so that I can do the, uh, the lights on the perimeter. Well, they're supposed to be here this week. And then I'm going to detune the uh, center lighting so that the middle, middle of the pan is not as bright. Spread the light out more, you know, uh, so it's like evenly around the whole pan. Because last night I watched them and they did come out and start going to the corner, but it's mostly Muscovies in this corner. Uh, and the, I, I think Muscovies have better eyesight at night too. I think that's another thing. But, uh, oh, Disco is just flying across the uh, water down there, guys. Um, but I watched and it was like there was this magical line that uh, of darkness and I can see where the light ends and it gets too dark on the outside edge of the pen and I think that's the problem once I get the perimeter lighting done up so that the uh, you know the outside of the pen is basically you know four to eight feet outside the pen is lit up a little bit so they can see what's on the other side of the wire I think that's going to solve the problem and they'll stop congregating in the center of the pen I'm leaving you in charge Doug I'm gonna go and uh, do my edit you watch everything my right hand man in the garden guys and uh, Doug hasn't moved he's been just laying here watching the ducks oh now he's watching me but he's watching the swamp like a hawk just look at this dog there's a bunch of ducks that are in the yard and there's a ton down at the uh, lake oh. Oh, the blue heron. He sees the blue heron and uh, he's got to chase it. But he's uh, watching his uh, his babies. Anything uh, that comes into the swamp is forget it. We got to chase it. The blue heron's been coming in uh, to that area that I caught this week. Uh, he's been, I guess he's hunting frogs. And Doug's just been, Billy's back there right now. He's back in the bush barking at it. It's up in the tree. He doesn't like anything coming near uh, the swamp. He just lays here watching quietly. He's so serious about keeping everything out of here. And I can tell uh, the ducks are totally uh, relaxed because of Doug. Because uh, he chases everything out of here and the ducks don't even move. You know, they get out of his way when he's running. But that's just because he's a, you know, he's like a freight train coming through. But they don't, you know, they just basically it's like parting, you know, they they move to the side to let him by, and then they stop running. They know uh, he's gone to do something in their favor. But it's a pretty calm, relaxing day here. The ducks are uh, totally chilling, relaxing duckies. The rain's holding off right now. Oh, there's a couple drops. As soon as I said something, eh? Oh man, I hope it holds off till I get my garden done here. Doug just cleared the swamp, guys. Um, a bunch of Canada geese just landed. And the ducks freaked out because uh, the Canada geese landed. Yes, Doug, you did a good job. Um, the Canada geese landed, freaked the ducks out, so the ducks started coming back. Doug ran out there and uh, got all the ducks to come home. The whole yard is full of ducks now. Because Doug brought them back. Because we had, uh, it looks like three or four, maybe five Canada geese. Where are they all? I'm trying to look here. There's a bunch of them landed. Where did they go? Well, they were there a few seconds ago. Yeah, it looks like three. I wonder if it's the same three from this spring. Totally freaked the ducks out. They started losing it. Doug lost it, ran out there, and then he got out there and he started chasing all the ducks back into the yard. It's like he doesn't want anything near the ducks. Or anything that makes the ducks upset. 
I really wish I could have got the camera on fast enough. It was really quite an amazing sight to see Doug go out there and then bring them all back. And he got instantly got between the can of geese and the ducks. It was like, you know, nothing's going to touch my ducks. It was funny. Funny and, and quite epic, actually, all at the same time. But they all ran back. I scared chickens. You guys are lucky you got a dog like Doug protecting you. Well, I'm gonna go back to the chicken in the garden here. Oh, look at this lazy dog. Doug. You tired? You ran like a fool today. Man, when are you gonna learn false alarms? I was just putting the wheelbarrow away and I came here and discovered him. I thought I'd share that with you. He's, uh, he's beat. Today, uh, he was brain dead. Every time the uh, killdeers uh, lost it, he'd take off into the swamp. Wouldn't uh, stop and look like he's been doing. Just blindly run like a crazy dog today. So he's probably a little bit sore too. It's almost the end of the day, actually. I can't believe I spent the whole day out here cleaning the pan instead of doing my vegetables. But it had to be done. I put uh, five loads of uh, duck feces on my garden where the peas were and uh, where the beans were. So, so I replenished the soil. <laughs> it's going to be even crazier growing next year. But there was a lot of feces here. I'm trying to think the last time I cleaned it. It's been a long time. So she's all cleaned up. I'd say it was like uh, three quarters of an inch thick. But I just cleaned the old main pen part. But the ducks are uh, loving the runoff. But the poor dog, they, the killdeer would lose it, just, you know, for the sake of losing it, and uh, the dog would go running like a maniac. But I gotta seriously clean up. I'm completely splattered in duck feces. Like, completely splattered. Like, I feel gross. My legs are covered in it. Oh, it's just flying. I was not prepared today. I, it was sort of an impromptu thing. I got caught in the garden picking beans. It was just a massive downpour. Got absolutely soaked and I just kept picking. I ended up picking a, a good whack of beans and then uh, I said, well, I'm soaking wet. The pen's soft. So I thought, well, what the hell? Let's clean her up. Tomorrow I'll, uh, I'll process all the uh, beans and get them in the freezer. And hopefully uh, Monday I'll be picking the yellow but I have to do my edit yet. I haven't done that yet. So there's going to be no episode again tonight. You guys are going to be upset. And by the time you watch this, you'll know why. Because I got sidetracked doing a whole bunch of duck stuff. Doug's officially off work, guys. Uh, his limp's too bad. He's a, he was a maniac today. He wouldn't listen. Um, so I'm just going to give him... Uh, I've got some crazy painkillers. And I'm going to give him an anti-inflammatory. And he is going to be locked down in the house for at least... 36 hours. We'll see how he does Monday morning. But he would not listen today. He was just a crazy dog uh, patrolling and barking and running and like totally brain dead. Brain dead actually. He wasn't being strategic, watching the swamp, nothing. Every noise he would just go crazy and take off and, and run like unbelievable uh, uh, exertion. Like it was just stupid. I couldn't stop him. I yell at him and he just kept going. So I'm going to give him some painkillers and um, anti-inflammatory and we'll shut him down. I think, I don't know yet, I might let the ducks out and just, uh, we'll call it sacrifice a duck day if something happens. Uh, because we won't have a, 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 you know, a guardian out there watching them. I just don't want to have the ducks in lockdown right now. Like, you know, we're coming to the end guys, October 28th, you know. So we lose a duck because Doug's out of commission. We lose a duck. It's basically what's going to happen here. But, um. Because I don't want a lot, you know, it's, I, I just don't. I, I, I'd rather have the ducks out and if we lose one duck, we lose one duck. It's not the end of the world. Or is it the end of the world? I don't know. Anyways, I'll see what I feel like tomorrow. I just don't like the ducks being out without Doug running around uh, or at least him out there. Because I know when he's out there with the ducks, nothing's going to come into the yard. But the poor puppy's hurting. You can tell by the looks of his face. We're going to give him a painkiller right now, Dougie. 
I got some good stuff. The vet gave me some killer stuff for you. The kind of painkiller you don't let him go outside because he'll think he's bionic. He'd be feeling no pain and really hurt himself. I'm just gonna go lock the ducks up and the painkillers are making Dougie really groggy. Dougs, do you feel relaxed? You shouldn't be feeling anything. You got 36 hours off, enjoy it, dog. <laughs> right now you're pretty spaced out, by the way. They're good painkillers, Doug. No, Doug. Get back. You're not coming out. He just heard kill deers. It looks like all the ducks are inside. I don't know why I never bought one of these uh, headband uh, headlight things. They're, they were awesome. Got a bit of fog setting in here. It's really warm out. Oh, ducks, look out. I'm coming to lock up. Like, look at this, guys. All the ducks are on this side of the pen. I don't understand it. It's like they don't know the wire is gone. I don't. Doesn't make any sense. Unless it is the lighting situation. It could be that the uh, perimeter out here is too dark. That could be the problem. But the Muscovies come out to this side. Look, look, there's that Muscovy. Like, I don't get it. They all stick to that side of the pen. And look at this side, empty. All right, duck, what are you doing? Are you gonna go towards the light? Okay, go towards the light. I gotta lift my head up to point the light so they'll go in that direction. I've gotta adjust the timer. This morning the lights turned off a half hour too early. They don't like the headlight on my head though. <laughs> the ducks totally freaked out this morning when the lights turned off. It was about 40 minutes too early. But like, look at this. I don't get it. It just doesn't make any sense. Oh, there's Stripper. Yeah, like look at it. It looks like they think the wire is still up. But I know they go over there for water because I've looked out the window and I've seen them going over to drink. And I see them go over to eat, but it seems that uh, when they want to sleep, they all sit on this side of the pen. I don't know. Don't understand it. The only thing that makes sense, I'm looking over there, guys, and it is pretty dark on the outside perimeter. When the new connectors get here for the electrical, I'm going to reconfigure the lights.
It might be because it's so bright in the center here. And that's why they're hanging around in here. <laughs> yeah, I know, ducks. All right, well, I'm going to go and have my supper. See, the Muscovies go over here because I've looked out at night and I see them all the time over here running around catching bugs. I think the Muscovies have better eyesight. I think that's what it is. But if you look, like, I'll turn the headlight off here. Like, it's not dark. Oh, last night, I'm trying to think here. I think it was about 11 o'clock. I'm trying to remember, I looked outside and I was surprised this whole side was full of ducks. I forgot about that. It's almost like when they first come in at night, they go over here out of habit that this is the pen and this is where they got to, you know, stay the night. And then as the night progresses, like right now, you see them, they're coming over. I think it's habit. Because the ducks are creatures of habit, big time. You know, they get into a routine and it's a lot to break them. But I did see them last night. I remember that. Now. I totally had a brain fart there, guys. I totally forgot. But I got to go eat. I'm hungry. And I got to go take care of my dog. <laughs> you want to see something <laughs> really freaky? I'll, uh, I'll warn you. Go. Oh, man. That, that's hard. <laughs> Be careful you don't have a seizure at the end of this video. Imagine trying to do something. Like, I can't even imagine trying to use these things with the flash and light unless you point it straight up man I should have bought a headset like this years ago it's 10 20 at night and look at all the ducks on this side of the pen now it's like when they come into the pen at first, you know, they think they got to all go to sleep in the regular side of the pen. But now the party's on and they're scattered all over the pen. Man, they're creatures of habit. Well, just look at them. See, they're hunting bugs. The flies from the lights. So I'm thinking it's because when they first come in, they think it's time to go to sleep and they go to sleep in the old pen where the old wire used to be. And now it's party time. They woke up after their nap. And don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends and enjoy the show.